I hope you're enjoying this course so far. In this lecture, I'm going to be talking about tasks and events. So, we have to remember firstly the difference between a task and an event. A task is a once of or activity that happens sporadically. An event is a blocked off time in your calendar that you can always use for specific purposes, right? That's the difference between a task and an event. Imagine an event being something that happens once every month, for example, like a quarterly meeting uh, or a biannual meeting, something like that. That would be considered an event. A task would be a once-off meeting with a client or customer. So, in this lecture, I'm going to be talking to you about how to actually create these. And there are two main ways. The first one is through the create new function, right? We can create an event or a task right over here. We can also go to a contact record. And if we go down from the contact record, we can see a new task and new event right over there. What I'm going to do is actually create the new task and then create the new event, just to give you a sense of what we're looking at. So if I create the new task, I can see that we have who it's assigned to. In other words, it's assigned to me. I'm going to say it's in progress. It's with Dr. Doolittle, and it's related to the ZIX industry. So if I click the magnifying glass and type in ZIX, click Go, it'll bring up the opportunity that we created earlier. Okay. I'm going to say that the subject is an introductory meeting, and the priority is high. Okay. And I'm going to say this is a the reason is that this is an introductory meeting. Wonderful. I'm going to say that the reminder to please set for myself is going to be, so this due date, in other words, this meeting is going to be happening next week. And so I would like a reminder early on in the week, all right, at 8 a.m. I can also attach some files. So, for example, maybe there's some notes that I've typed up. I could always put them right in here. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually just going to click Save. And if I go down, I can immediately see that the new task has been put in. And I can now see that I have an introductory meeting that I can click on. And I can create a follow-up or follow-up event as a result of this. Okay, wonderful. Let me go back to the account, right? Now notice that because it's linked to ABC Industries, okay, However, I want to go back to Dr. Doodle right over here, go down, and I'm going to go back to new event, right? So right here, new event. I click new event. Remember, it's going to be slightly different because we're talking about a block of time over here. So I'm going to say that this is, this is the Q1 check-in, right? With Dr. Doolittle to see how everything is going, okay? I'm going to say that this is going to happen at 123 Pine Street, New York. All right. Okay, New York, New York. I'm going to say that this is going to happen October 26th. And goodness gracious me, they're saying we should start off at <laughs> 11 a.m. However, we're going to start from 1 to 3 p.m. on that day. Okay, you can also make it an all-day event. It's related to the ZIX Industries. Okay, so I click that, use the magnifying glass. It's going to create a reoccurring event um, every month, right, on this date. <coughs> and this is going to be on the 26th, on the 26th day of every month. Okay. All right, recurring start. I'm going to make sure that this ends in October 2018. Okay, I want this to remind me at least two hours before, and the recurrence is going to end 2018 in October. There we go. All right, I could also add some attachments. I could add some invitees. So let's say, for example, I wanted to invite a contact, let's say I'm going to just put in for argument's sake, her name is Esther, I'll click go, Esther Young, I'm going to click right there, I'm going to click insert selected, and then I'm going to click done, right? So if I go down, I can see that I have a reminder, 
I can put in a description uh, if I wanted to, but what I'm going to do is save and send update. And what that will do is actually will save this information and then it will give me an update right over here. And in addition to that, it will appear on Esther Young's profile to show that she also has these check-in times, right? So that's the walkthrough of how you add a task and an event in Salesforce Classic.